Hi Carpentry Addicts, I am Domingo Freire and today I'm gonna make a melamine cabinet sink. First of all we have to know the measures of our melamine pieces. The cabinet I'm going to make today is going to be assembled using the WorkPro pocket hole jig. This kit is very complete and comes in a case that contains the drilling guide, the stepped bit that comes with the depth stop that will adjust according to the thickness of the board with which we will work, it also brings us the right tip to tighten the screws that we will use today that are 1 inch long because we will use 15 mm thick melamine. And this kit has some plastic caps that we can use to cover the pocket holes at the end of our work. We have to adjust the drilling jig according to the thickness of the material with which we are going to work. Here we can see that this jig has the scale in millimeter and inches to be able to make the adjustment. We must adjust the template with this small arrow on the line between 12 and 19 because we are going to use 15 mm thick melamine. Adjusting the depth stop on the bit is very easy. We just have to place the drill considering that the thickness change step at the tip is in the middle between 19 and 12 mm, so that it can work perfectly with 15 mm melamine. To start assembling, I will start by joining the bottom piece of the furniture with the bottom strip on the back. I advise you to use some corner clamps to immobilize the pieces when placing the 1 inch long screws. Now we are going to join the side piece together with the two pieces that we joined previously. And now we are going to join the other side. Once the operator strip is attached, we are going to place the front strip in the position to take better advantage of the cabinet space and to be able to comfortably place the sink tubes later. On the doors, I'm going to fit soft closing cup hinges whose installation measurements are the same as the traditional 35mm cup hinges. To install the hinges, I'm going to make the holes 5 mm away from the side edge and 10 cm from the top and bottom edge of the doors.
To attach the hinges to the side pieces, I suggest drawing a line 37 mm from the front edge to locate the 6 by 5 8 inch screws. Once the doors are placed, we only need to hold the top on our furniture. If you are going to use a melamine top like I will do it, you can attach it with the screws through the pocket holes. I prefer to attach the top to the cabinet once I have installed it on the wall. When you go to place your sink, you can place it in the center and make the hole for the drain pipe. A very important detail that you can see on the front of the cabinet is that the top must cover the upper part of the doors to protect them from direct contact with water. Thank you a lot for watching this video. I hope you like the sink cabinet we made today. Remember to click on like, share and comment this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.